So welcome back to another episode of the Sip to Tell It podcast. And today we're going to be uh, recapping the Ravens win over the Vikings. Uh, a roller coaster ride, a uh, very emotional game going from the putrid first quarter and a half by the defense and then the putrid pretty much first half and maybe a, a quarter and a third, half of the third quarter by the offense before they turned it up. Um, just really you went from – being sick to your stomach to being like, okay, we got a chance to, okay, we really got a chance and okay, we finna win it. Oh, we about to lose it. Now we got a chance to win it again. Oh, we pissed it away. Oh, we win it in the end. So that's all the emotions that, that went out yesterday. And uh, let's kind of, you know, recap the situation. Um, score was 34 to 31 overtime victory. Um, just go do some stats real quick. Uh, Lamar rushed for 120 on 21 carries. Freeman rushed for 79. Lev Bell rushed for 48. Um, Lamar threw for 266. 27 for 40, 41, 266. Sacked three times, threw three touchdowns, also had two interceptions. Uh, Hollywood Brown went off. Nine catches, 116. Uh, Andrews was targeted 10 times, but only had five catches for 44 yards. Uh, Rashard Bateman had five catches for 52 yards with I want to say four of the five catches being like first downs, like moving the sticks. And um, Pat Ricard had three clutch catches all in the same drive. All in the same drive. Three clutch catches. Um, defensively, let's see what defense. Well, we gave up 110 to Cook. And Kirk Cousins threw for 187. So we kind of held them in check, so to speak. But the guy that really hurt us is a guy I mentioned um, when I did the preview. And I can't say his name, Kenny, Kenny, and Gagu. He hurt us with the kickoff return and the fake punt. Same dude. I don't know if y'all noticed it or not, but that's the same cat. Kenny, and Gagu or whatever. And the reason I even knew his name because I, I saw his speed on Madden and I knew he was fast. And it showed up Sunday. Uh, defensively, let me see if I can find these defensive stats real quick. There it is. Uh, Bynes at 11 tackles at the mic position, which is great. Your mic should be right around 8 to 15 to 20 tackles, somewhere up in there. He should lead your, lead, lead your team in tackles. Deshaun Elliott had six tackles before he uh, left the game with a torn pick, which is going to hurt. Had two tackles for losses, too. Bynes had a tackle for loss also. Bowser had a tackle for loss, and Queen had a huge tackle for loss to start the drive where we, we, we stopped him on a three and out. Uh, passes defended. Bynes had one. Bowser had one. Brandon Stevens had one. Humphreys had two. And both of Humphreys' passes deflected were on third downs on in-breaking routes. But he would just stick his hand or stick his fist in there and knock the ball out. Well, let's talk about the actual play. So, first quarter was, was bad. If it weren't for the horse collar early in the in that on that drive, we don't move the ball very much. And we end up getting a field goal out of it. But then come back on defense and give up. The long touchdown to Jordan Jefferson, like I, I want to say it was blown coverage, but I need to see the film before I can really. I don't think he beat nobody. I think he just blew coverage. I think whoever the middle of the field guy was blew blew coverage, and I think it was, it was either Chuck or Stevens. I'm not really sure. I think it was. I think it was cover three, and Marlon had the deep thirds, and he pushed out like he was running toward Marlon, then broke it back in where Marlon should have had help, and he didn't. But that's here nor there. I need to see the whole thing. Um. Then we come back on offense and don't do anything. Don't do anything. Then they get it back deep in their own territory, if I'm not mistaken, and Davin Cook break off like a 66-yard run. Then they get they get that touchdown right there. So now it's 14-3, to three, if I'm not mistaken. Let me look at the box score. It's 14, no. It's 14-3. to three. Then they come back and get another field goal and make it 17-3. And so now we're, I'm looking like, oh, my goodness, here we go. Do I, why is this team beating us? I'm, you know, I'm rubbing my eyes, scratching my head, trying to figure out what's going on. What's wrong with these play calls? Why are we not executing? The old line looking bad. And then right before halftime, something happened. We get um, get a little drive going. And um, Lamar scrambling, and he throws a ball to uh, Rashad Bateman on the scramble drill. And Rashad Bateman doesn't catch it, but he draws the pass interference, which ends up being like a 40, maybe 50-yard gain, and that puts us on the three or two or something like that. And we end up getting in on a, a Devontae Freeman touchdown. 
Devontae Freeman in the flats. Um, you know, made a nice catch or whatever. But the thing, you know, before I get to the second half, in the first half, Lamar had four, if not five, what I would call bad throws. And so, um, second half, you really didn't see that out of him. Second, but the second half, they kind of went, they kind of went away from like forcing some stuff and went to the checkdowns. I know in the first half they would run a lot of deep routes and O line wasn't protecting or couldn't protect that long, and we never had a check down. But in the second half, he was he started hitting the backs. That touchdown right before the half, he hit a back um, in Freeman, but that was designed to go to Freeman. Then that big drive with um, Ricard getting all three catches, they were check downs. Ricard was not the main guy. He, he was a check down guy, and he made it happen. And ended up getting a touchdown. But the second half, I'm going to say I'm gonna say about the middle of the second quarter, the defense tightened up. Something turned on for the defense, and they started to lock down the Vikings. And um, But then the offense didn't come along just yet. About midway through the third quarter, the offense started coming along. And then you could see late in the fourth quarter when we got to the point where we were uh, seven points down and then tied it up and then took the lead, their defense was tired because we were gashing them, gashing There was a drive where Bale carried the ball. I want to say four or six times and got great yardage every time. So that that was a plus that that time possession. And speaking of time possession, let's see what it was. So we had the ball almost the entire third quarter and, and a great good chunk of it the fourth quarter. We doubled them in time possession. 46 minutes to 23 minutes. We doubled those guys in time possession. I really wish I could see. Here it is right here. So. Third quarter, we had the ball 10 or 15 minutes. We had the ball 10 minutes and 44 seconds. And in the fourth quarter, we had it even longer, 11 minutes. So out of the 30 minutes in the second half, we had the ball, let's just say, 22 of those 30 minutes. They had the ball for eight minutes in the second half, which allowed us to get back in the game by running the and to tire their defense out, which made that drive when we went up 31 to 24 made that drive even special because that was almost all uh, runs. Almost all runs. That drive, let me see if I can find it real quick. That drive was almost all runs. It was in the fourth quarter. All right, we've ended with a touchdown. All right, so you had Davin Cook from, now that's them. Here we go. Lamar Jackson short pass to Hollywood Brown for 22 yards. That, I think that was the screen where he just caught it and then just ran past a the guy. Then the other guy just tackled him and threw him forward a little bit. Then you got Devontae Freeman for eight, Lev Bell for seven, Lev Bell for eight, Lev Bell for five, Lamar Jackson for 10 on the quarterback draw. Then you had L. Bell for the touchdown. That's one, two, three, four, five, six straight runs on that drive, which and I'm definitely going to do a video on that drive because that drive was, was a thing of beauty. You know, when you're trying to, especially when you're in the four minute offense and you're just trying to score and not give them the ball back, that, you know, that was a thing of beauty. But moving on. So now we're up 31 24. They get the ball back and really. I think I saw a stat on TV. They said they had two first downs since the first quarter of the game. And now we're late in the fourth quarter. So the defense stepped up and did what they had to do. But um, they got a nice run by Cook, I think. Let me see. Uh, incomplete the Thielen. Cook for one. Incomplete the fourth down. They get, oh, that great pass by, the great catch by Ham when uh, we realized that uh, Elliott was hurt. That was a good catch by Ham. He called it. Elliott didn't touch him. He got up and ran for some more. And then um, they end up scoring on a jump ball to Thielen, which I think was offensive pass interference. Anthony Avery was in great position. I really think Thielen pushed off with both hands on uh, Humphrey, but not Humphreys, on AA's shoulders and then caught that ball. But they didn't call it, and it was late in the game, so I don't know if you're really going to get that call like that. But, again, they tied up. We go to overtime. Uh, so we're in overtime, and I'm feeling like, you know, we can just drive down that throat because we ran the ball as well as we did that that drive to take the lead. We're running the ball in the, in the overtime, running in overtime. And we're getting this set where you got Ricard in there as like the as the side car, and you got Freeman as a pistol. So you fake like the stretch to, to um, Devontae Freeman, and he's supposed to block the defensive end or the, whoever the edge guy is. But he kind of passes his feet and stutters, and Lamar throws it, and the defensive end tips it and picks it, and then Devontae Freeman goes to cut it. When Devontae should have just went and cut him instantly, that would have gave Lamar the, the the angle or the throwing lane to get the ball to record. But without that even being said, as well as we were running the ball, why even throw it? Why? Let me see if I can find the overtime real quick. Overtime, we get the ball first. 
Throw the ball to Hollywood for seven yards. It went, you know, it is a good drive starter to break tendency. That's fine. But now you come with Freeman for six, Freeman for five. Uh, another pass to Hollywood where he came back and then, you know, ended up having a blocker. I think it was Thomason on the, the right side for to pick up 20 yards. Then you come back with um, Freeman for another four yards. So that's a uh, run play, six, five, and four. And we, now we're on their side of the field. So you just want to run it and try to get, you know, as close as you can, use as much of that time as you can. And that's when the play action came and they picked it. But defense stood tall again. Um, three and out. Three and out. Three and out. They stood tall. And then we come down and we get the field goal, you know, with very little time left. So that's what happened, man. And really, that time possession is what did it. That time possession allowed us to get back in the game. 22 minutes. Out of 30 minutes in the second half is what really, really allowed us to get back in the game. And the defense stood tall. They stood tall starting about halfway through the second quarter through the rest of the game. Other than, other than that one drive where they tied the game up at 31, the defense, you know, handled their business for the most part. Because the only other touchdown I forgot to mention it was the, the kickoff return to open the second half. And that, and that was part of the roller coaster of emotions. You know, you, you luckily got back in the game, got at the one score game right before halftime. They come back and run to open the kickoff back, which is the guy, I can't pronounce his name again, uh, Nick K. Ken, whatever his name. I'm sorry for butchering it. But, you know, that's the recap of it. That's um, this episode of the Simply Tally Podcast. Make sure you share this with your, your friends on Apple Podcasts. I think it's on Anchor, too. And, and um, I forgot the other place I got it on. But Anchor, Apple Podcast, and it's orange. I can't think of it. It is what it is. Y'all know my high brain fart sometime. But I'll see y'all soon. We got two film sessions this week before the game Thursday. Um, one will be, I ain't going to tell you what it is. You, you just, I told you what one of them is. I'm not going to tell you what the other one because I don't want my ideas to pop up nowhere down I'm supposed to be. But uh, you could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. This is Coach Evan with Sip the Tally Films. I appreciate you guys. I'm out.